Hello, good evening, and welcome to Egger Stadium in Van Wert. We're tonight on WOSN. We've got a Western Buckeye League matchup between the visiting Ottawa Glendorf Titans and the homestanding Van Wert Cougars. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Evan Skilder, and we'll bring all the action to you tonight here from Egger Stadium. And uh, we got a couple of squads looking to, to right the ship, so to speak. Van Wert's lost two in a row, and Ottawa Glendorf looking for their first win of the season. So somebody's going to leave here tonight, Evan, with a little bit of positive momentum to build on. Yeah, two teams that certainly started opposite the way they expected to, just a little over halfway through this season. So it'll be interesting to see how they come out. It's two teams that really like to pass the football. We're going to see a lot of throws through the air. Brylan Parker for Van Wert completing 57% of his passes. Peyton Kuhlman on the other side for Ottawa Glandorf completing just around half of his passes. Both of them have thrown right around 150 times as well. Yeah. So on paper, these two teams very similar, but clearly the Titans uh, not getting the results that they've been looking for. Tonight's high school football matchup brought to you by Union Bank. Union Bank is committed to you. Van Wert will receive the opening kickoff. As Ottawa Glendorf will tee it up. As Tyler Honebrink will put it at the 40-yard line. Van Wert has a couple of guys back deep to return. Cougars, as Evan mentioned, three and three on the season. Yeah, and it's a team that, like you said, like, likes to pass the football. But they do put it on the ground as well. Brylan Parker, the quarterback, the leading rusher on this team as well. 823 yards, 11 touchdowns on the ground to go along with exactly 1,100 yards in the air. So a team that is, uh, is definitely tough to stop. You can't key on just one thing. Kick is caught just before the goal line and brought out to at least a 20-yard line. And a little bit more room to rumble for the Cougars. Pushed out of bounds along the near sideline. Let's see who was the Cougar that had. Briston Wise. Uh, you're correct. It was Briston the Wise, the junior. Brought it all the way out to near the midfield stripe. So Van Wert will have great starting field position at their own 49-yard line to begin tonight's ball game. Won't be shocked to see a shot downfield for a team that likes to pass good field position to start this drive. Brylan Parker will line up in the shotgun. And he will hand it off to Kelton Bill. And he's brought down in the open field. So he's running to the near sideline. Jaden Steckschulte, one of the Titans, coming over. Trying to make the stop. It's a loss of three on the first play for the Cougars. Yeah, it seemed like a little miscommunication up front right there for the Cougars. There were two defenders on the right side, all alone, unblocked. So nowhere for them to go there. Van Wert moves quickly as Parker will keep it himself and a couple of Titans there immediately Connor Kitchen and Dale Dooling combining for the stop for Ottawa Glandorf so Van Wert moving backwards here as this first quarter begins and this first quarter brought to you by Leland Smith Insurance Services your first call for all your insurance needs good job by the front four once again for the Titans Vinnie Brinkman Connor Kitchen Austin Haley Dane Dooling all up front Parker looking to the far sideline Fires deep, a penalty flag dropped to the turf. I imagine that'll be defensive holding, if not pass interference. Just a little hitch and go there as the intended target took an out route and then went straight up field. Nice ball in the air, and I think it would have been on the money had he not been held. Yeah, third and 15, the call to chuck it basically as far as Brylan Parker can get it. And it is just enough for the structure first down. Pass interferences in high school football. Not an automatic first down, but when it's third and 15, a 15 yard penalty moves those chains. So Van Wert now into Ottawa Glendorf territory with 10.50 to go on the structure scoreboard. As Parker stands by his lonesome in a shotgun, they'll send Bill from left to right. Fakes the handoff. Parker runs up the middle, spins off a tackle for the first positive yardage. Design keep right there. Nice job opening up the left side by the offensive line. The first time we've really seen them get a push so far on this drive. Good for four. Any surprise, Evan, of the Cougars like to chuck the pigskin around that they've ran the ball the first three plays? A little bit. Coming off two losses, sometimes you see a team maybe switch up what they're trying to do. Right now they're going to get a, a secondary call from their coach. But empty backfield, a lot of time a team is expecting a pass, so they keep it on the ground, keep them honest. Parker. We'll fire it again this time. Caught by Keaton Welsh. The freshman stays inbounds. Picked up a gain of just one. 
5'9", 140-pound freshman. And yeah, that play only works at the wide receiver opposite the one that catches it, gets a good block, but a nice job defensively there by Griffin Seamit just getting around and bringing down the receiver. Third and five as Bill stands to the left of Parker. He'll take the handoff, looking for some running room, and it's cut down. Trevor Rump from the linebacker's spot comes up, makes the stop, gain of no gain, really, and the ball spotted at the 36-yard line with fourth down and decision time for the Cougars. Looks like they'll keep the offense on the field. It's a really good job by Rump right there. Instead of going straight for the ball carrier, he just went to the outside to keep contain and force him in. Parker with time to throw, looking, fires, and it's incomplete. And the Ottawa Glendorf Titans will get off the field. Great coverage by the secondary. Not one person open right there. And Parker had to kind of force it into a tight window, not able to complete the pass. And a good job by the Titans. They did give up that pass interference. Otherwise, a really good stand. So Ottawa Glendorf will trot the offense out onto the field here. As Peyton Kuhlman, the junior, will trigger things for the guys in white tonight. Still scoreless on the structure scoreboard. As Kuhlman will stand in the shotgun. Again, this is a team that likes to pass. Their leading rusher only 213 yards through the first six games. They'll turn and pitch to Alex Schrader. Second effort gets him out past the 40-yard line to the 42, a gain of six on the first play for the OG offense. You mentioned Vinny Brinkman, the leading rusher at 213 yards on the season. Alex Schrader just goes over 100 yards on the campaign with that carry. Otherwise, pretty much looking to chuck, chuck it around with Grant Schrader, 309 yards through the air, 26 receptions and three touchdowns to lead the Titans in all three categories as Kuhlman will hand off to Brinkman this time. Has a blocker out in front of him. Breaks through a tackle. It's going to be very close to moving those chains. They're going to spot him just shy, I believe. It's going to be third and as short as you can be. So far, both teams kind of running an offense not similar to what we've seen so far this year. Yeah, and when you look at it, Ottawa Glendorf gives up just over five yards per carry. Van Wert gives up just over six yards per carry. So maybe going to the ground, both coaches think that's their best path to victory. Third and one upcoming as we approach the eight minute mark here of this first quarter on the structure scoreboard. Six in the box for Van Wert, look to blitz on the left. Coleman will keep it himself off left tackle, sprints up the middle of the field as the structure first down and more. Ball comes out at the end. Did the Van Wert Cougars pounce on it? They say they did. We'll see which way the referees point. But Kuhlman had the ball stripped at the very last moment. I think he was laying on top of a defender as well. So unpile the scrum. Looks like the Cougars have it. Well, it was a good play by the Titans. The Cougars blitzed the right side of the Titan offensive line. They ran it to the left. They had a hole open, but a good job by the defense getting a hand on the ball and ripping it out. A nice clean rip as well. And so the Cougars, after giving up a couple good plays on the ground, get a turnover of their own. Yeah, things have not gone well for Van Wert defensively the last couple of weeks. They've only got three sacks on the season. Um, have not been thrilled with that side of the football, but to get a turnover this early in the game, it's a big energy play as Parker will step back into the shotgun and hand off to, nope, he'll keep it himself actually. Come off left tackle to the 40 yard line. So a gain of five on the first carry there of the drive by Brylan Parker. Good job creating a little extra movement in the backfield with the fake handoff, I believe is a quarterback keep all the way rather than the read option that you normally see. Three wide receivers to the right. They'll hand off to Bill this time. Had a little bit of a hole to work with. Got to the 43 yard line, so a gain of three. Brings up third and short as the Cougars still just put the ball in the air the one time, or the two times now outside of the pass interference penalty. Third and one, and we'll get a stoppage in play as Bill will check out of the ballgame in exchange for Briston Wise. I don't know if we got a blood situation there, but he blew the play dead and he'll come to the sideline. So the junior Briston Wise, who returned the opening kickoff out to the midfield stripe, gets the carry here on third and short and is gobbled up in the backfield. Connor Kitchen, another tackle. Yeah, that time Kitchen came from the left side, did a nice job just keeping 
his feet churning, getting all the way across the line to bring down the ball carrier. Now fourth and short. This is the decision time for Van Wert. Yeah, the Cougars keep the offense on the field. Fourth and one from their own 44-yard line. 6.20 to go on the structure scoreboard. Parker will stand by himself in the gun. Three to his right, two to his left. On fourth and one, keeps it all the way. Needs to get to the 45-yard line. The Titans say they stopped him short. Both referees be, standing right on that 45. Say very close. The nose of the football right at the 45-yard line, and they'll move the change for the structure first down. Just enough right there. Not much to that play, just man on man up front. And a nice job by Parker, just putting his head down and getting that extra yard. He was hit behind the line of scrimmage initially. Halfway mark of this first quarter, still scoreless. High snap, Wise corrals it. Stiff arms one defender, breaks through another tackle before he's cut down behind the line of scrimmage. Mason Vogt comes up from his defensive backfield position to make the tackle, but to even get back to the line of scrimmage might be a win for the Scarlet and Gray. No question, but they did have a hole open up the middle where that play was designed to go. So unfortunate that snap went over their head, but a good job, like you said, by Wise corralling that and making something out of nothing, minimizing the loss. Second and 10 upcoming. It's both sides still feeling each other out. Parker the keep nearly slipped through that slight hole to work with, got out just shy of the 50-yard line as Parker continues to carry the load here in the first quarter for the Cougars. It was a good job by Colin Haggerty. He kind of pulled from the right side in through the hole and picked up a nice block on Trevor Rump to propel that play forward. And Parker could have kept his feet, maybe about 10 more. Third and seven, looking for that Lee's famous recipe. Chicken first down, Parker rolling to the near side, fires a bullet across the middle of the field. It was going to be right at the sticks, the intended target. It was Keaton Welch, pass is incomplete, and he'll bring up another fourth down. And Van Wert, instead of trying for that Leeds Famous Recipe Chicken first down, looks like they'll punt it away this time. Probably needed to take something off that pass and maybe throw it a little bit lower. Obviously, it went over the receiver's head, but tough one to handle nonetheless with all the pace that it had only about five or six yards downfield. Gage Steeman on to punt. So he awaits the snap. A low wobbler picked up by the Titans along the near sideline and dropped to the turf as Griffin Simon dropped at the 28-yard line. So that's where Ottawa Glandorf will start their second drive of the evening. Kept it on the ground for the most part on that first possession. So we'll see if they decide to go to the air once or twice on this drive. Certainly not accustomed to seeing the Titans keeping it on the ground but they had some success. That play that was a fumble yeah, would have been a 20, 25 yard run had they held on to the football. Yeah, Ottawa Glendorf started at their own 36 the last drive and fumbled the football at the Van Wert 35. So they had put some field underneath them as they'll hand off. Schrader dropped behind the line of scrimmage. It's Aaron Reichert getting in the backfield and bringing Schrader down right there. That play took a little bit too long to develop. It's Reichert from that middle linebacker spot, the leading tackler for the Cougars. Shot through the gap for a three-yard loss, makes it second and three, or second and 13, I beg your pardon. Yes, Kuhlman breaks the huddle. Cougars so far content just rushing those four down linemen. Three linebackers lined up behind them, but those two safeties deep, really trying to make sure nothing goes over their head. Kuhlman looks to fire down the far sideline, looking for Schrader. Titan faithful on a pass interference penalty. Don't get it. I can under that Schrader <laughs> kind of got past the defender in there. I don't know if the, play, the call is uncatchable or what, but there was certainly some contact at the end of that route. Yeah, sorry to cut you off no. there, but absolutely, I think there was some contact there. I can understand what the Titans fans are, are irritated about, but like you said, that pass maybe just a little too high. Didn't look like it would have been catchable anyway. So third and long here for the Titans. Ball at their own 25-yard line. They got to get to the... 38. Coleman, back to pass, plenty of time, fires over the middle of the field, nearly intercepted by Brylan Parker. Got off the top of his fingertips. Looks like we're prepared to trade punts here as neither side squad able to pick up that Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. Yeah, a lot of defensive backs on that play right there. And tried to squeeze that into triple coverage on the man 
coming across the middle, even if he would have caught that ball had he been brought down right away about two yards short of the first down anyway. So under four minutes to go on the structure scoreboard here in this first quarter. As Connor Kitchen, usually the punter for OG, make a change instead. Caden Fenberg out there. A low sidewinding kick scooped up at the 45 yard line by Steeman along the near sideline, spun down just shy of the 40. So Van Wert with great field position one more time here in this first half. Those low short bouncing kicks are so dangerous because when a player can run up and grab the ball on the run, generally he's able to spring forward for quite a few yards and right there a return of about 10 to 15 and they'll start this drive from Titan territory. So 3.45 to go here in this first quarter. Both sides feeling each other out here in the opening going. The pass happy Van Wert offense has been pretty ground and pound so far. Do have a couple of guys out of the lineup as they're starting Keaton Welch and Micah Cowan, a couple of wide receivers that are freshmen tonight. They'll sling it to Bell. Bill along the far side. Got to the 30, between the 36 and 37 yard line. So a gain of five there on the easy pitch and catch from Parker to Bill. I like that play right there. They haven't really been able to find any success outside of the tackles. That time they just got Bill on the run and propelled forward for six. They'll hand it off to Bill one more time. He's got the league's famous recipe first down. All right, they're gonna mark him just shy of that marker actually. It looked like he had lurched out ahead, but it's gonna bring up third and very short for the Cougars instead of the first down. This is probably four down territory, so you might see them either keep the ball on the ground or take a deep shot. Parker looking for further instructions here on third and one. Clock continuing to tick. He'll run straight ahead. Ooh. Powers through a defender for the Lee's famous recipe. Chicken first down. What a run by that senior signal caller. Six feet, 200 pounds, used every one of those pounds to run over the defense, get a big first down. That's what you expect to see in a Western Buckeye League matchup, huh? First and 10, ball just on the outskirts of that Dale's concrete red zone. Now turn and sling it to Bill. Gain of three and two. It's it just inside the 25 yard line. That time Alex Schrader on the outside, their leading tackler came into tonight with 77. An official's time out here. Yes. Hey, Cougar. Looks Slow like to come off the field. Bill a little shaken up after the run. He got hit pretty hard. Alex Schrader, like we said, the leading tackler on this Titan defense. Hard hitter. Got him right at the ribs. Second and eight. The clock continues to tick. 2.15 to go on the structure scoreboard here in this first quarter. Cougars driving. Parker in the gun. Has a couple of blockers, penalty flag thrown, as he'll sprint through the Titan defense, stay on his feet into the end zone for a touchdown. We'll see what the penalty marker is. Looks like it's gonna go against the Cougars. Yeah, there was an offensive lineman on top of a defensive lineman. Generally, when you see that, <laughs> they're going to, there's going to be a flag in the vicinity. We got it that time. Right away, there was a penalty flag thrown. Cougar offensive line, five seniors along the line for Van Wert. Might be a chop block, looked like the, oh, okay, it was a hold. Oh, there are two, Got it. two penalties. There's a chop block and a hold against Van Wert. So that'll push the Scarlet and Gray back pretty far. Yeah, the hold ends up a 10-yard penalty, the chop block is 15, so that goes all the way back all to the 41. So the line to gain is the 16-yard line. That's second in math. 25. <laughs> second and 25. Two plays to pick it up, three plays to pick it up conceivably. It's Parker, will roll to the near side. Still holding. And he's dropped, the ball is loose. It's a race to the loose football. Won by Connor Kitchen of Ottawa Glandorf. So both quarterbacks fumble the ball here. This one deep in that backfield. He tried to pull it back. 
and either get throw it to a receiver or just throw it away, but he didn't have enough time. He got hit hard, and a good job by the Titans falling on it. After the fumble, it went back about 10 more yards, so great field position for the Titans. Yeah, just a lineman race to see who could pounce on it. Counter Kitchen, the senior for Ottawa Glandorf, has had a whale of a first quarter for the guys in white. Puts OG in great field position at the Van Wert 42-yard line after the fumble recovery. So we've traded punts, we've traded fumbles. As now Ottawa Glendorf looks to go back to work on the offensive side of the football. The 6'2 junior signal caller Peyton Kuhlman stands in a gun. And they'll hand it off. It's a good job by Aaron Riker right there once again. He does such a nice job with outside contain. He understands that if a guy gets outside of him, he's got the whole field to work with. Right there, he just stepped up, made sure he forced the runner inside, and then dove back and made the shoestring tackle to keep the game to just two. Grant Evers the carry. Four out of Glandorf. Gain of two. Brings up second and eight. So he'll be in the gun one more time with two receivers split out wide to each side. Kuhlman spins the football in his hand and lets it fly, looking for Schrader deep. Dropped it right in the bucket for a 40-yard touchdown. The Laudix Jewelry touchdown connection from Kuhlman to Schrader, and Ottawa Glandorf gets on the structure scoreboard first. Two receivers on the outside. One ran a 15 and in, the other one ran a post. The safety went with the guy that was shorter, and it left him open right over the top for the touchdown. How about the pass from Kuhlman, though? Like you said, right into the bread basket. So now the Titans come on for the Wright State University Lake Campus extra point. The snap is back. The hold is down. The kick is up through the uprights and good. And Ottawa Glandor holds a 7-0 lead over Van Wert here in the first quarter on WOSN. Tonight's touchdown sponsor, Lodix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Chanin Street here at Van Wert or online at Lodix.com. A 40-yard touchdown strike from Peyton Coleman to Grant Schrader. Makes it 7-0 as we've traded a couple of turnovers, a couple of punts, and everybody's still... Getting used to one another out here on this beautiful Friday night, by the way. Could oh, not ask for better weather. You're absolutely right. We're sat outside, and normally I complain a little bit when that happens, but tonight I'd rather be out here. A-OK -okay is the ball caught just before the goal line. As Wise brings it out to the 21-yard line, a much better coverage this time by the Titan kick team. So with under a minute to go on the structure scoreboard here in the first quarter, Ottawa Glandor, or Van Wert, I beg your pardon, gets to work with their worst starting field position of the evening. Griffin Beckett right there on the tackle. That's really good coverage. Like you said, by the Titans, they gave up a big return on the opening kick. And right there, nice job filling their lanes, making sure there were no gaps, and then bringing down the ball carrier. Parker in the backfield, joined by Bill to his right. He'll get the handoff. A little bit of room to run before he's swallowed up. Alex Schrader comes off from the linebacker spot to make the first tackle of the drive for the Titans. Just so impressed with Schrader and everything he's been able to do defensively this season, but especially in this game. That time, just read the flow of the play, just stayed with it. Yeah, it's a one yard gain, but he did such a great job filling that hole and bringing down the ball carrier. Cougars back at a gun with three to the right now. They'll turn and fire that way. Caught along the far sideline. Connor Campbell, perhaps? No, Gage Steam in the reception. Open field tackle made by the Titans. Makes it third and still pretty long for the Cougars. They've tried a few of those passes to the outside, but the wide receiver is just not able to hold a block so far this evening, and those plays haven't gone anywhere. That'll do it for the first quarter of play. We'll head to the second. Ottawa Glandorf leads Van Wert 7-0 here on WOSN.
Tonight's second quarter about to get underway, brought to you by Leland Smith Insurance Services. Your first call for all your insurance needs. So we got the offensive defense on the field ready to go while we're honoring Bill Clefton here at Van Wert. They're ready to go. Yeah, the officials making the umpire out walk mosey out to the pitcher's mound speed. Like, hey, we're ready to play football <laughs> here. And it's a big play coming up. Third and six here for the Cougars looking for that least famous recipe chicken first down. Bill Clifton, more important than your third and six. Yes. Which is actually fair. Great guy. Parker uh -oh. in the gun. He'll let one fly. Looking for a receiver off the top of the dome of Mason Vote. Penalty flags come down as he was looking for Connor Campbell deep. And that penalty's going to lead to a Van Word first down. It's one of those nearly impossible plays for a defender when the pass is thrown short and the receiver starts to slow down. You're running and trying to catch up with him. You have no idea where the ball is. You'll often see pass interference on plays exactly like that one. So first and 10 now on the least famous recipe chicken first down after the penalty and the ball will be spotted at the 41-yard line for the Cougars. The second time we've seen a penalty extend the drive here for Van Wert. As Parker gets the signal from the Van Wert sideline here early in this second quarter. Stands by himself in the gun. Send Campbell in motion. Throws to Campbell off his fingertips. It is a forward mm. pass. Yeah, it was close, though. Well, the way Campbell's motion started, I wondered if, like, are we looking at a double pass? Because he got pretty deep behind Parker on the motion, but he was moving forward and caught it, would have caught it right at the original line of scrimmage. Saw a few of those in the first quarter where they were able to get to the outside. Because of those little swing passes, that time the ball just out of reach of the runner, but he had some space to run if he would have caught. Parker the keep up to the 45-yard line. Alex Schrader in on the stop, as was Counter Kitchen. Real nice first half so far here for Counter Kitchen. Has had a couple of tackles, a fumble recovery. The OG defense playing pretty well here in the early going. Vanderwerk trying to change that third and six upcoming. Three to the left and two to the right as they'll now freeze. Looking for that least famous recipe, chicken first down. It's Parker, awaits the snap. Will scramble in the open field is met by Grant Schrader. Needed to get to the 49, is going to be well short of it. We'll see what Van Wert decides to do here on fourth and three. He made that decision to run when no one was open, but as soon as he pulled the ball down, he had one guy come back to the ball down the right side, and he was open. But a lot of times, again, when you're a quarterback, you make the decision, you just got to kind of go with it. That time, just not enough space. So Steeman will punt on fourth and three, clock ticking here in the second quarter on that structure scoreboard. Steeman boots it away, a high end over end kick. Caught, and the Titans not able to get anything going on the coverage. Great cover, on the return, I beg your pardon. Great coverage by Van Wert. It was a heck of a punt, too. Nice high kick, nice and deep. Pinned him inside the 20. So the second quarter, first drive for Ottawa Glendor will start at their own 17 yard line. They put a touchdown on the a Lodix Jewelry touchdown on the board last time. And that 40-yard pitch and catch from Kuhlman to Schrader. So first and 10. Neither side getting into the Dales concrete red zone just yet. Kuhlman in the gun. Hands off. A lot of room to rumble for Vinnie Brinkman. Or is that Evers? No, Evers the carry. And he picks up the least famous recipe chicken first down. That was a tough one right there. He didn't have much space, but you could see him turn his shoulders left and then right and just kind of squeeze through whatever was there for him. Ends up going for a big, big gain. Ten minutes to go here in the first half. Titans playing well offensively. That's Kuhlman in the gun. Two receivers to the near side, sends a man in motion. Evers another carry. 
Off right tackle, out past the 35 yard line. Gain of two, we'll call it three on the carry. Another one right there where it would have been stopped short of the line of scrimmage, but turned his shoulders and snuck through. Second and seven. Upcoming here for Ottawa Glandorf. They told us they wanted to control the line of scrimmage. See if they can manage that here on second and seven. Kuhlman over the middle of the field. Ball tipped. So he was looking for Brinkman on the screen pass. It's incomplete. Cougars might have had a defender there, but he got blown up right as the ball was coming to him. Yeah, it's one of those center screens where the offensive line releases and gets downfield. They tried to throw it up over the top, and the pass was too high. But like you said, one of those linemen doing his job blocking the linebacker in the secondary and fortunately knocking him over so he couldn't make the interception. So third and seven here. Titans looking for another Lee Samus recipe chicken first down. They'll send a man in motion. Kuhlman holds, fires, nearly intercepted. A great play made on the ball. Got a penalty flag along the far sideline as Wise nearly got his mitts on it. It's an interesting flag. It's on the side, an eligible man downfield. Okay. But I'll tell you what, that was a good read by the defender. It was a comeback route on the left side. And they had him there. Coleman's pass just a little slow to get there and also a good read as they started to slide over, just reading those eyes and knocking that pass down. So nine minutes to go here in the second quarter. Van Wert looks like they're going to punt it away after back-to-back -back incompletions. All right, Ottawa Glandorf going to punt it away. I beg your pardon. Yes, they'll send Parker and Steeman back deep to return. Fourth and seven. The Titans will boot it away. Not a great punt at all. Well, net about six yards. Let's see where they spot the football. Right at the 44-yard line. So that's where Van Orton will have the football when we come back here on WOSN. Tonight's instant replay sponsor, Lightfelt Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and in Greenville. First and 10 for the Cougars. Into positive territory is Kelton Bill the carry. Past the 40-yard line before he's brought down by Grant Schrader. Decent pickup as they pulled the left tackle from left to right, getting up the hole, but a good job by the defense shedding the block and bringing down the ball carrier. So got right to the 40-yard line is now Parker stands by his lonesome. Three receivers to his left, two to his right on second and seven. The senior takes a snap, looks, pressured, able to get out of it, and scampers to the far sideline. He's got the least famous recipe first down before he's shoved out. Averts disaster on the athleticism by Bryland Parker. Yeah, Vinnie Brinkman got back there and was able to make contact, but Parker... Nice strong frame, six foot, 200 pounds. Able to bounce off the tackler, get up field. So with the least famous recipe chicken first down, they're working on getting into the Dales concrete red zone. Send a man in motion, it's Campbell. They'll turn and fire it to him. Into the open field, to the 30. Breaks through another tackle, Ooh. stops. Shoved out of bounds at the 25-yard line, nearly juked himself down. Instead, got a defender to go flying. That's a nice play by the senior wide receiver. Yeah, that time the wide receivers did a nice job holding their block on the outside, made a little hole for him to run through, and then he did the rest with that athleticism. He juked me out of my shoes. I'm sitting way up here. <laughs> Second and two. Parker looks to keep it himself. Has some blockers, meanders through the Ottawa Glandorf defense, and he's into the Dales concrete red zone. Another counter right there as they pull the right side of the offensive line through the left, right up the hole. And again, some nice blocks into that secondary and a big first down. Cougars move quickly, two to each side. 
as Bill stands to the right of Parker and a gun. Ball's loose. Otto Glandorf says they have it. Looks like the officials say, nope, Van Wert pounced on it. That'll start the clock once more. So a crisis averted by Van Wert one more time. They were trying to run the read option right there, and Parker waited as long as he could yes. before deciding to pull that out. And when you wait that long, oftentimes <laughs> there's a little miscommunication. Second and 11. Parker looking to throw this time into the near sideline. It's caught by Micah Cowan as they'll get very close to another Lee's famous recipe, chicken first down, but just moving farther and farther, deeper and deeper inside that Dale's concrete red zone. Hey, you'll take the completion, you'll take seven yards right there, though. And actually, the last two plays, they've had a man open in the seam that they haven't found. You don't really need to run a play like that here. Parker rolling to his left, looking, sprinting, touchdown. Brylan Parker, an eight-yard Lodix Jewelry touchdown scamper. And Van Wert is now a Wright State University Lake Campus extra point away from tying it up. That offensive line's done such a great job, especially on this drive. Christian Ackerman, Devin Story, Carter Price, Caleb Bledsoe, and Morgan Bigham doing a great job creating space for their senior leader, Brylan Parker, to run through. Some Griffin McCracken on to kick the Wright State University Lake Campus extra point. 22 at 25 on the season. And he'll put that one right through the uprights as well. So we're all square at seven here in the second quarter on WOSN. Tonight's high school football broadcast brought to you in part by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. All square at seven after a seven play, 43 yard touchdown drive capped off by Brylan Parker's 12th Laudix Jewelry touchdown of the season on the ground. And we're all square at seven here. Nice response by Van Wert after, you know, almost fumbling the football away to come right back two plays later and punch it in. It's a nice fight through adversity by the Cougars. High and short kick caught on the run by the Titans. Got a player with their helmet knocked off. As Briston Wise, the Cougar, who lost the lid. As Jagger Burgai caught it on a run. And wanted to punish some people for even having the idea of tackling him. That was a nice strong return right there by Burgai. And what another one we talked about earlier, where you catch it on the run like that, a lot of momentum moving forward and usually goes for a big return up to the 41-yard line. So seven of five to go here in this first half. Titans will go back to work with Kuhlman in the gun. And Vinny Brinkman to his left. Kuhlman to keep looking for somewhere to run. S nearly slipped the tackle, but Steeman hung on for the TFL. Another nice job keeping contained that outside edge. That time Steeman forcing Kuhlman to come back inside. There's nothing there for him. 6.45 to go here in this second quarter on the structure scoreboard. Tonight's scoreboard. Sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Second and 12, facing Ottawa Glandorf. Van Wert looking to get off the field. Or I beg your pardon. Yeah, Alex Schrader in motion. Kuhlman rolling to the far side. Puts it on the dot to Grant Schrader for the Lee's famous recipe. First down and more. Got down to the 24-yard line. A great play by Schrader, who had the touchdown catch earlier. Slipped a tackle and sprinted up that far sideline for another Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. That's a tough catch right there. The defender got a hand inside or in between him and the ball, excuse me, but he was still able to bring it in. And as the defender flew by, Nice quick turn and nice job getting up field. Approaching the midway point here in this second quarter. Ottawa Glandorf approaching the Dales concrete red zone with the ball spotted at the 24-yard line. Kuhlman. Schrader lined up as the wing. Kuhlman looking for him 
Elaine has it. Took a big lick on the Van Wert defense. Nice patient run right there by Kuhlman, though. Had a bevy of blockers in front of him. He just nice and patiently went behind them, got up the hole, found some space, and a nice five-yard gain on first down. Looked like Gage Steeman delivered the blow. But you're right, a five-yard gain. Gets them inside the Dales Concrete Red Zone with the nose of the football at the 19-yard line. Kuhlman with one wide receiver split out wide to each side. Hands off, room to rumble for Brinkman inside the 10-yard line. He's got the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. Ottawa Glandorf has found some success running that football. Yeah, again, counter to what we've seen most of the year from both these teams. They're both running very efficiently on the ground. Another first down. Just a good job up front by those offensive linemen as well as some receivers down the field picking up some big blocks. So first and goal for the Titans. Ball spotted at the seven-yard line. Well inside that Dale's concrete red zone. Alex Schrader lines up to the left of Kuhlman. They'll send a man in motion. Kuhlman looks to keep it himself off the left side. It does, meanders through the Cougar D, and he's down just at the one-yard line, so a gain of six. Another patient carry, just putting as many guys in front of him as they can, and he just kind of waltzes through the line, waiting for some space to open. Ottawa Glandorf content to watch some time tick off the structure scoreboard as we approach the four-minute mark. They'll get the football to start the second half. Second and one. Second and goal, I beg your pardon, from the one. As they'll go under center in the Maryland eye. Evers, the deep back. They'll turn and give it to Schrader. Schrader looking for his first rushing touchdown of the season. Has it. From one yard out, Alex Schrader. Punches in a Lodix Jewelry touchdown to give Ottawa Glandorf the lead. Nice job up front once again. The right side this time, Connor Kitchen, Cooper Neese, and the center, Dylan Seifker, doing the pushing. And Alex Schrader doing the scoring. Tyler Holmbrink on to kick the extra point. And a Wright State University Lake Campus kick. It's through the uprights and good, making it 14-7. Ottawa Glandorf here in the late stages of quarter number two on WOSN. Whether you're interested in an associate's or bachelor's degree, Wright State University Lake Campus offers something for you. Visit lake.wright.edu to apply today. After the Wright State University Lake Campus extra point, Ottawa Glandor for the 14-7 lead over the Van Wert Cougars. Titans looking for their first win of the season. Meanwhile, Van Wert looking to stop a two-game losing skid. Homebrink has the football teed up. Ready to send it away. Cougars have had some nice returns so far here tonight. A high end-over-end -end kick, a little shorter than the first couple. Caught at the 10-yard line. And the Cougars had a seam to run through. Got out to the 30-yard line. Is that Wise one more time? Kristen Wise, the return. And he got it out to the 30-yard line. And that is where Van Wert will start their next drive. That was Mason Vogt on the tackle. And that was a big one, too, because there was a nice little hole there. Vogt just kind of slid off his block and tackled the ball carrier at the ankles. But had he not? a lot of space to get up the field. We've seen a couple, like you said right before that, a couple really dangerous returns from both teams so far this evening. So we'll see how Van Wert responds. Got their first touchdown of the night on their last drive. Now trailing by a score with 3.36 to go on the structure scoreboard here in this first half. Parker by his lonesome. Three to the right and two to the left. Looks left, holds, throws over the seam, looking for Campbell, lollipopped it to him. Did he grab it? He did. What a fantastic senior-to-senior -senior connection on a long pitch and catch for Parker to Campbell on the first play of the drive. Flag at the end of the play as well. I'd be interested to see who it's against, but I like that pass play as they went right up the seam. Only one safety back. He was on the right side. He came sliding over, but just not in time. That was a perfectly placed pass by Parker. 
Now the referees are going to have a quick chat. We'll get the call. On sportsmanlike conduct against Van Wert. Well, move the football back a little bit. So a big play ends up. Right, a 35-yard gain ends yeah. up being just a 20-yard gain. But nonetheless, <laughs> a just good pass play there and maybe some momentum. The ball, nose of the football right at the 50-yard line. Van Wert will go back to work. Clock starts ticking one more time on the structure scoreboard as Keldon Bill stands to the left of Parker in a gun. Off the left side, rolling before he shoved out of bounds. Alex Schrader leading the charge for the OGD. Both quarterbacks running the ball quite a lot for their respective teams. Gain of just one. We go under three minutes to go. I wouldn't be surprised to see something deep down the right side. That safety's tight to the line and pretty far away from these two wide receivers split out right. And Connor Campbell's got some wheels, some size, lined up in the slot to the bottom of your screen. That's where they'll go. They'll fire it deep to Campbell. Dropped it in the bucket inside the Dales Concrete red zone. Couldn't break the tackle, but dropped down to the turf inside the five-yard line, and the Cougars are in business. Yeah, they went the seam on the left side for that big play that got called back 15 yards that time. Seam to the right side, not much there. The defensive back, defensive backs, excuse me, for the Titans have kind of opened up and said, all right, we want you to run to the outside. So they said, thank you, and they took it. Ottawa Glandorf with an injured Titan on the field. We'll step aside and come back. Be first and goal for the Cougars when we return on WOSN. Tonight's Red Zone sponsor, Dale's Concrete. Call Dale's Concrete and decorative stamping and lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. After the long pass, Van Wert deep in the Dale's Concrete red zone with the ball at the five-yard line. Looking to knock this thing up at 14 apiece after the long pitch and catch from Brylan Parker to Connor Campbell. Parker awaits the snap, looking to the left. Looking to get in the end zone and does. A five yard Lodix Jewelry touchdown run by Rylan Parker. Puts Van Wert, all right, State University Lake Campus extra point away from tying it up. That was a big block right there by Devin Story, sealing out the defensive end, creating that hole. Parker, good job reading, but that was definitely a touchdown and a product of that offensive line. McCracken on to kick the Wright State University Lake Campus extra point. Splits the uprights to tie us up at 14 apiece here on this structure scoreboard late in the second quarter here on WOSN. All tied up at 14 on the Structure Outdoor Ohio by all scoreboard. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. 2.27 to go. Out of Glendorf. Looks like they're prepared for a little trickeration should Van Wert want to onside kick it here. They don't. Always prepared, though. But Always good to be up there. Cougars, a four-play, 70-yard touchdown drive. Couple of big plays through the air. This ball's booted away. Burgai makes the jumping grab and has some room to run. And I tell you, Burgai runs with some purpose. He's not afraid to take a pop or give a pop. Yes. He's brought to the turf at the 30 yard line. Big hit by Landon Frieden right there, too. He Talk about Berg guy running with a purpose, not really afraid. I don't think Frieden was afraid on that one either. <laughs> you can, when you can, we're the second to last row up here in the bleachers, and you can hear the collision from this far away. You know, got the pads popping on a Friday night. All tied up at 14. Van Wert looking to stop a two-game losing strid. Skid, Ottawa Glendorf looking for their first victory of the year. Peyton Kuhlman, the lineup in the shotgun. The junior signal caller sends a man in motion. Hands off. Very close to Elise, famous recipe chicken. First down on the carry by Evers. 
one of Coach Schreiner's keys when we talked to him before the game was to control the line of scrimmage, and offensively they have certainly yeah. done that. Yeah. This offensive line has done a really nice job. We've seen some some schemes like X blocks. We've seen a couple poles as well that have gone really well. They've done a nice job getting a hat on somebody and creating space. Second and one for the Titans. Evers the handoff one more time, has the first down and more. Out past the 45-yard line. It's another Lee's famous recipe, chicken first down for the Titans. And they're, they're at 14 points on the scoreboard tonight. They average 15. They've only scored 90 points this year, but 35 of them have come in the last two weeks. So you can definitely see the results of, even though you don't see it in the win-loss column, that things are getting better for OG offensively. No question. This definitely looks like a team that knows how to run the football. I know the stats don't necessarily show that, but you know, we just mentioned the offensive line. That time it was Austin Haley coming from the right side. Now a false start. Schrader was in motion, and nearly every guy wearing stripes here at Edgar Stadium let their hankies fly. And that'll push the Titans back five yards. But you're right. They've certainly, for a team that you know, Audible Glendorf's thrown the ball 153 times. Van Wert's thrown the ball 150 coming into tonight. Both sides, for the most part, have done a lot of their damage on the ground. And Audible Glendorf, we mentioned wanting to control that line of scrimmage. Offensively, you're right. They've done so, so far here in this first half. As Kuhlman looks to fire deep. Throws into triple coverage. Can't be brought down as Steeman had the best chance at the INT. Well, that's a tough one right there because Coleman wanted to throw that ball a lot sooner than he did, but he slipped when he was trying to plant that back foot. And as soon as he slipped, you could see where he was looking. Three defenders ran right for that spot, and he still decided to throw, which you can't blame him. He had a guy behind the defense, just not able to get enough behind it. So second and 15 upcoming here with under one minute to go on the structure scoreboard here in this second quarter. Again, you saw how much time he had right there to throw the football as well. Coleman fires the screen over the middle of the field. It's caught, but Logan Moss dropped. Van Wert Our, ended up with the football right there, but it was after the whistle. Griffin Seamit with the inter, or with the reception, I beg your pardon. They were trying to set up the middle screen right there. I don't know if Peyton Coleman just rushed the pass or what happened, but as soon as he threw it, Aaron Reichert was right there to bring down the ball carrier, or the receiver, excuse me. So the clock continues to tick. Titans do have to snap it one more time. Take a shot downfield right here. Yeah, just might to as see. well let one uncork one and see what comes up. As now a timeout taken by Ottawa Glandorf. So you get to five seconds, and I think you're right. The, in, Coaches don't generally want to hear this, but the chances of you throwing an interception and then returning it 110 yards aren't great. Um, you know, maybe you get a sack fumble or something like that, but it doesn't hurt to just let you get the ball back to start start the second half. So it doesn't hurt to just let something crazy. If you got something in the bag of tricks you like, it doesn't hurt to run it here. You know, I know we're just broadcasters, but we're fans too, right? We want to see. Hey, something we called like that, that Connor hey? Campbell almost touchdown. Who's uh, we? Uh, that was me, my man. Oh, we we we, nah. um, we <laughs> almost called that. But, yeah, you know, last game of the year, Brent, can't hold anything back now. I mean, you might as well. It's not the last game of the year or anything like that, but you've had a rough season so far. I'm sure you've practiced a bunch of trick plays. Might as well let one fly here with five seconds to go. Gives Van Wert a chance to talk about how they want to defend it. They're not putting anyone terribly deep. They no. still have two safeties over the top, one on either side. A little different formation with two receivers to each side. As Kuhlman now will just hand off to Alex Schrader up the middle. And Van Wert wanted to call timeout, didn't get it. Keith Recker was standing right there by the official, signaling for the timeout. But that is how the first half will end. Van Wert 14, out of Glendor 14. We'll go to the break. All knotted up. Come back with third quarter action for you here on WOSN. Tonight's presenting sponsor for high school football is Union Bank. Union Bank committed to you. A beautiful night 
for week seven high school football here tonight as you get a great view of the Harvest Moon and Central Avenue here in downtown Van Wert, a perfect setting for high school football. And we're all tied up here at 14 apiece as the second half about to get underway and really impressed by both offenses and at times questioned both offenses there in the first half where things didn't go so well, but both teams able to battle back and put some touchdowns on the board there in the first half, Evan. Absolutely. Outside of a few turnovers, both of these teams have played really, really well on our offense, executing well. Both offensive lines have done a nice job. So, and, you know, sometimes you ask about halftime adjustments. If you're each coach, it's going to be the defensive line getting a little more penetration because these offensive lines have been so good. But I've been really impressed by both teams before the game. We said Van Wert 3-3, three and three, Ottawa Glandor still looking for their first win. But I watch both these teams. They look a lot better than those records might say. Oh, absolutely. Just a, uh, a really a, a clinic offensively for both squads there at times in the first half where did whatever they wanted to do and then had to fight through some adversity as well as the second half about to get underway as Van Wert will boot it away to Ottawa Glandorf, who just let the second, the first half expire when they had the football. Seen some great returns so far tonight as well. Yeah, Jagger Burgai will receive this kickoff as well. Caught it at the 17-yard line and runs straight ahead. Still churning his legs, trying to get out to the 40-yard line. Cut down just shy of it. And that's where OG will begin their first drive here in the second half. So again, both teams ran the ball very well. Ottawa Glendorf doing a lot of patient running. As I like to say, Peyton Coleman has done a bulk of the work on the ground from the quarterback spot. And when I say patient running, I mean, he gets a lot of guys in front of him and he just kind of tiptoes yeah. behind them until he finds a little bit of space and he's gone. Now he has thrown the ball a couple times and Hasn't looked bad there either, so a lot for the Van Wert defense to think about. Kuhlman will turn and pitch to Vinny Brinkman with some room to run. Barrels through a defender, very close to a Lee's Famous Recipe chicken first down, and has it. So the first play of this third quarter goes for a first down for Ottawa Glandorf in this third quarter, brought to you by Leland Smith Insurance Services, your first call for all your insurance needs. Most of the success on the ground for the Titans has come between the tackles. They haven't been able to get to the outside because of some good contain from the Van Wert defense. That time, just a quick pitch to the outside. Little crack block came down and able to find some space out there. Coleman will turn and pitch it to Brinkman one more time. Van Wert defense stops him for a one-yard loss. As Briston Wise makes the open field tackle. A little slow to get up and... Walking with a limp, but looks like he's going to fight through it. Nope, they'll bring in Connor Campbell now to check in for Wise. That's a good job on the right side. That time not trying to do too much. They just jumped in there, make sure, made sure to blow up the blockers, push them back a little bit, get into the backfield and bring down the carrier. So second and 11, await the Titans. Alex Schrader stands to the right of Kuhlman. Brinkman in motion. He'll roll to the far side. Kuhlman, patient, just chucks it out of bounds and lives to fight another day. Good coverage over the top by Van Wert. They're running with two safeties and have for most of the night, and so nothing open deep right there. They tried to run levels where they had a guy 10 yards and five yards away from the line of scrimmage, but good coverage and a good job containing the quarterback, so Coleman just had to throw it away. Third and long upcoming here for Ottawa Glandorf with the ball approaching the midfield stripe. We'll see how they play this. Might be four down territory. All tied up at 14 if they can get some eight or nine yards here on third down. 10.31 to go here in this third quarter. Opening drive of the half for the Titans. Kuhlman takes the high snap. Looks for a screen. Throws to Schrader. Needs to get to the 41. Does and has the Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. It's at least the third time they've run a screen like that so far tonight. The first time went for a decent chunk. The second time, they weren't able to get anything out of it. That time, it looked like they sent two guys out of the backfield, one to the right, one to the left, which opened up the middle of the field a little bit, and they end up going to the left to Schrader and a good pickup. So first and 10 on the chain reset. With that league's famous recipe, chicken first down. Brinkman to the left of Kuhlman. He'll take the handoff. Kitchen turns the corner to block. 
Brought down just shy of that 35-yard line. Gain of three on the first down carry. A couple nice hard runs so far this half for Brinkman. He's put his shoulder down, run over a guy a couple times. That time could have been brought down for two, but the extra effort gets him four total. Make it three, excuse me. Bad math. <laughs> Brinkman, a six foot, 198 pound junior, came into tonight. Just over 200 yards rushing, still looking for his first touchdown carry of the season, as was Alex Schrader until he got his first touchdown there in the waning stages of quarter number two. Evers in motion. Kuhlman fakes the handoff, looks to throw, looks for Brinkman out of the back of the or out of the backfield, I should say, and just overthrew him. Great design there by the Titans to roll one way, throw back the other, and just left it a little long for Brinkman out of the backfield. Yeah, they set up that play to move the defense to the left, and they snuck Brinkman out of the backfield, a little drag route, and they had him pass a little bit long and looks like Brinkman also didn't really stretch those arms out quite as far as he could have but like you said well designed play to get that defense going one way and to throw back the other. Long time out of Glendorf head coach Ken Schreiner told us they had to win third down to be victorious tonight. They won the first one here in the third quarter. We'll see how it plays out on this third down and didn't get to the sticks. Needs to get to the 29 yard line is down at the 33 so it's going to be fourth and four after the quarterback draw by Peyton Kuhlman. That's a play you run when you know you're gonna go two plays, right? It's third down and six. You're gonna go for it on fourth down, so get a decent chunk there to make the fourth more manageable to get it to within four here. Fourth and four is the Van Wert faithful rise to their feet. Cowbell's out in full effect. <laughs> trying to will that defense to get off the field. Kuhlman in the gun with Brinkman to his right. Van Wert brings pressure. Pitch, catch, caught for the Lee's famous recipe. Chicken first down. Griffin Simon along the far sideline has the inner or in, or has the completion. Nice route over there. A little button hook just came right back to the ball. Van Wert giving a little bit of space at the line of scrimmage. So as that defender was backtracking, the receiver just came back. Nice pass, nice catch, and an easy first down. First down tonight brought to you by Lee's famous recipe. Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Dolphins, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken home style happens here. Titans get the Van Wert Cougars to jump off sides on first and 10. And that'll put them just on the outskirts of the Dales Concrete Red Zone. So the ball be at the 22 yard line now on first and five. As Audible Glandorf continues to drive, they started at their own 39 yard line. Now knocking at the door, the Dales Concrete Red Zone. No safety over the top here on the near side. Evers the carry, off right tackle. Right at the first down marker. Pretty sure he was brought down by his own guy right there. Connor Kitchen turned around to see where the play was, and that well, was right there. <laughs> coming at you. Second and one. Coming for the visitors. They are content to watch some time click off that structure scoreboard. It's been a good drive so far, four and a half minutes and counting. They're inside the Dales Concrete and Decorative Stamping Red Zone. Call Dales Concrete and Decorative Stamping Lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. Man in motion. And off. Not much, but enough. Yeah, needed to get half a yard, not a yard and a half. And that's a Lee's famous recipe chicken first down after the carry by Evers. The line to gain is the six yard line, so still could get another first down here and continue to see time tick off the clock, excuse me. They've almost run through half of this entire third quarter. Tenth play of the drive upcoming as Kuhlman awaits the snap. Well, hand it off one more time. No, keeps it himself. Scampering off right tackle. Race to the pylon. Did he win it? He did. A 16-yard touchdown run by Peyton Kuhlman. And that Lodix Jewelry touchdown gives the lead to the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. It's a great run by Kuhlman, but Grant Schrader on the outside with the big block from the wide receiver position holds that block just long enough for Kuhlman to get around him and into the end zone. It's not always just about the runner. And right there, Grant Schrader, a great job. The 6'2 senior holding his block and helping his team score. Tyler Ownbrink 
on for the Wright State University Lake Campus. Extra point. Snap is back to hold us down. That kick is up through the uprights and good. And Ottawa Glandorf holds a 21-14 lead over the Van Wert Cougars here on WOSN. Touchdowns tonight brought to you by Lodix Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street of Van Wert or online at Lodix.com. A 10 play, 61 yard touchdown drive took nearly half the third quarter and out of a Glendorf has a 21 14 advantage. Again, running the ball very effectively on the ground, didn't have to throw too many passes on that drive. Home Brink's got the football teed up. Sure is taking his time. I was going to say, I was like, I'm not sure if he's waiting for the whistle that has already been blown, but Briston Wise, the return to the open field, made two men miss before he couldn't slip Simon. Dropped at the 22-yard line, but still a nice return by the junior. That's a good tackle by Griffin Seamit. You're right, good return. Seam it right there, open field, had to stay in front of his man and made good contact to bring him down. So Van Wert, as we approach the midway point here in this third quarter, gets the football back. What's the overall message offensively from Keith Record to a squad there at the halftime break? And will we see much different here for this first drive of the second half? Shouldn't. They ran the ball very effectively. The offensive line's done a nice job. I think you just have to keep doing what's worked for you. Parker will keep it himself. Still rolling. Got very close to a Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down, and they're going to give him that Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. Yeah, it looked like he might have been down a little bit short, but it's close enough anyway. And another nice job right there. They do a nice job, Van Wert, of moving around in the backfield and keeping the defense off balance, right? It ends up being a runoff tackle, but they send that guy out in motion, and it gets the defense to think twice. Parker, the keep again up the middle to the 40-yard line. He spun down at the 41, just shy of another Lee's Famous Recipe chicken first down. So all, nearly 20 yards on the ground in the first two plays for the Cougars. Second and two, they'll move quickly with 5.45 to go. And we've seen Van Wert go up over the top as well, so this Titan defense can't really commit too many to the box or they'll go over. Parker, one more keep, has the first down. Stood up by that out of a Glandorf defense. Just the read option, nice and simple. Besides, he's going to keep it as soon as those defensive ends get up the field and leave some space in the center. Austin Haley gave him a pop, punished him for that least famous recipe chicken first down, but it moves the chains. And Van Wert, moving quickly, got the football with 6.31 to go. 5.15 on the structure scoreboard. Trailing by seven, Parker with two to his left and three to his right. Fires over the middle of the field, incomplete. Connor Campbell, the intended target. The first pass of the drive by the Cougars. Yeah, that was just a quick five and in. He just, or five and hook, excuse me, as he came back to the ball. But Parker, in order to get it to him, had to kind of toss it up over the offensive line and in doing so, just floated it over the head of the target. So second and 10. He'll bring a wing in. So Parker, still by his lonesome. Since Bill in motion. Parker up the middle one more time on this drive. Again, the Ottawa Glendorf defense there. That time he probably could have handed it off. There was a block on the defensive end. And if the carrier, if Keldon Bill, excuse me, would have gotten that ball and around that defensive end, there was nothing but green grass in front of him. Green turf, excuse me. <laughs> It is beautiful green turf. It is. It's very nice here. Third and seven, a man in motion. Parker rolling to the near side. Let's it fly. It's caught by Bill at the 45-yard line. Needed to get to the 44, so that's another Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. Good decision right there. Went through his progression, looked to the deep man, looked to the mid. No one there, so a nice short pass. Easy completion, and like you said, big first down. 4.31 to go on the structure scoreboard. Ottawa Glandorf, the 21-14 lead over the Cougars. 
as we get a penalty flag and a false start committed by Van Wert. They've got Micah Cohen, the freshman, for a false start. Did it right in front of the official along the near sideline and gave the old hand to the head of like, yeah, I didn't think you'd see that. <laughs> but it's first and 15 now. Right at the 50, Parker rolling, looking, fires through the hands. Keaton Welch on the outside, that ball in a tough spot. I know if it hits the hands, you should catch it, and I believe that too. But that ball is kind of over the left shoulder pad, and when you try to get those arms up, but you got the pads blocking your way, it can be really tough to move those hands, especially when the ball is coming as hot as that one. So second and 15. Upcoming for the Cougars. They'll get set quickly, two to each side of Parker as Bill stands to the left. Campbell in motion. Parker rolls the pocket, comes back to the other side. Penalty flag thrown. Parker dropped at the 50. That might be a block in the back, yeah, which I think would end up right. being a 15-yard penalty. It is indeed. So already second and 15, it's going to be second and Paulding. I guess we're moving to the south, so it's going to be second in Rockford, maybe Ohio City. Rockford's your hometown, isn't You're it? You're right. Not, not far from – it's a short little trip here to Van Wert. Beautiful stadium, beautiful night for football. That's a tough Penalty one right declined. there. Oh, so it brings up third down and long rather than – Yeah, instead of second, second and thir 30, it's third and, third and 15. Three wide receivers to the left now. Two to gutsy, the right. Gutsy decline, though, no question. Oh, absolutely. You would think that second and 30 would be. The referee blew the whistle, and it confused the entire <laughs> Van Wert offense. <laughs> it was to start the clock after the penalty. He blew the whistle, and everybody turned around to look. Well, what's that for? So third and 15, looking for that least famous recipe. Chicken first down. Parker over the middle, caught by Campbell, needed to get to the 35. I think got, or the 30, yeah, got to the 35. Got to the 36. So fourth and one. One of those that you can second guess not taking the penalty there and make it second and 30, but then they get three chances at it rather than two. Fourth and one, Parker up the gut and a stick from Schrader. But did Parker go off left tackle and get it? He did. Alex Schrader came out like a bullet out of a gun through the middle of that defense. Gave him a lick, but... Great run by Brylon Parker to get off the defender and pick up that least famous recipe chicken first down. That's a senior leader coming through in the clutch. Parker lets it fly. It's caught by Cowan along the near sideline. The freshman brought down at the 28-yard line. You see Parker a little bit gas. He's got the hands on the hips. Yeah. He's breathing heavy. He's done a lot for his team on this drive. Even on the passes, he's really rolled out to the left or right. Really using those legs, working those lungs. Here he goes again. Has five carries on the drive, looking for Campbell. Corralled inside the Dales Concrete Red Zone. Grant Schrader on the coverage, just a hair late. And Van Wert's in business after another least famous recipe, chicken first down. It's a great throw on the run right there, too. Just a little out route by Campbell. And put it right on the money. First and 10 at the 12-yard line. The midway point of that late Dales Concrete Red Zone. Parker, the handoff to Bill. Bill with room to rumble through a tackler and into the end zone for a 12-yard touchdown run. Kelton Bill, sixth TD of the season. Of the Lodix Jewelry touchdown. Makes us one extra point away from a tie ball game. That's just, this is just two teams that are executing so well. Yep. Each play is so well done. Each guy up front, doing their job, hitting the guy they're supposed to, making room up front. Griffin McCracken on for the Wright State University Lake Campus extra point. It's up and good. And it's 21 all between Van Wert and Ottawa Glandorf here in the third on WOSN. Extra points tonight brought to you by Wright State University Lake Campus. Whether you're interested in an associate's or bachelor's degree, Wright State University Lake Campus offers something for you. Visit lake.wright.edu 
to apply today. A 12-play, 77-yard touchdown drive by Van Wert, capped off by a 12-yard Lodix Jewelry touchdown from Keldon Bill. Ties us up at 21 here, and there are, I'm certain that there are schools in the Western Buckeye League who are getting the updates of this score going, ooh, might not be the outcome so far that people expected as Evers jumps on the football as the Cougars just kick the old line drive at the Titans to see if they're napping. You've said this a few times, but if you came to this game, had no idea what these teams looked like the rest of this year, you didn't know what the records were, you'd be shocked to hear that there are only three wins Absolutely. between the two. And this has just been a fantastic game for both teams, executing well, like we said right before the break. Two possessions, one for each team this half. Both of them have scored, both of them long drawn out possessions as well. Ottawa Glendorf will go back to work. Titans looking for their first win of the season. Van Wert looking to snap a two-game losing skid at five at three and three. Cougars still, however, the number five team in Division IV, Region 14. As Kuhlman will keep breaks through one tackler, and Kuhlman's into the open field. Past the midfield stripe, being chased down by Winklejohn. And Donovan Winklejohn makes the touchdown saving tackle as Peyton Kuhlman sprints through the line into the 35-yard line of Van Wert. And you get, again, you see him very patient behind the, the line of scrimmage, waiting for something to open up. And as soon as a hole opened, he went right through there, up the gut, into the second level, and a big pickup. So under two minutes to go on the structure scoreboard here in this third quarter. Titans already driving after the first play of the drive. Kuhlman, the junior signal caller, steps back in the gun. Evers, the carry. Off right tackle, but the Van Wert defense is right there, limiting him to just half a yard. Spencer Clay on the ground, but saw that foot right next to him, so he grabbed it, brought him down right at the line of scrimmage. Under 90 seconds now here in this third quarter. Tied at 21 apiece. 115. Honorable Glandorf with 15 seconds. On the play clock will break the huddle on second and 10. Really working that play clock right, trying yes, to make sir. sure the time is in their favor. Five seconds on the clock, send a man in motion. Kuhlman, the keep. Somehow able to turn that into positive yardage. Looked like he was gonna be gobbled up for a TFL instead. Gains two to make it third and a little easier. Ducked right under a tackler. Big third down, we saw them run a four yard play on third down and seven yeah. earlier in the half because they knew they were gonna run two plays. I think they'll probably do something similar here. 30 seconds to go in this third quarter. Yeah. Here the Van Wert defense, the Van Wert faithful on third down. Kuhlman turns, fires, Schrader incomplete. All right, beg your pardon. I'm sure the intended target on that far sideline might have been Seamit. Yeah, I was going to say, haven't turned sideways yet. So fourth and seven here after the big play by the Titans. Got it down to the 35. They've stalled out here at the 32. Looking for that Lee's famous recipe, chicken first down. Grant Schrader, the leading wide receiver on every category to the bottom of your screen. Goldman drops back to pass. Has time, fires, and it's caught by the Titans inside the Dales Concrete Red Zone. What a great grab there by Ethan Metzger. Had to go all the way down to the turf and just sneak a hand under that ball to bring it up and make sure it didn't hit. And a big first down as the Titans don't have to run another play here before the quarter ends. Yeah, those numbers will tick off the structure scoreboard and we'll go to the fourth quarter. All tied up at 21 apiece between Van Wert and Ottawa Glandor here on WOSN. Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Leifeld Industrial Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and in Greenville. First and 10 for the Titans as Kuhlman has Schrader to his right. They'll send Brinkman in motion, and Kuhlman will keep it himself. Jukes to the middle of the field. 
Gain it just a couple here as this fourth quarter begins. And this fourth quarter is brought to you by Leland Smith Insurance Services. Your first call for all your insurance needs. Titans picked up a sideline warning right there as well. Flag came out right away. You get one of those per game. The seventh play of the drive up coming here for Ottawa Glandorf. And again, very content to work the play clock. Coolman sends Schrader in motion. Will throw a jump ball to the near side, looking for Schrader and overthrew it. Looked like he might have had him there, just Schrader didn't turn around in time to see the ball coming down. He got behind his man. I think that was the quarterback, Braylon, Braylon Parker, excuse me, in coverage. Just threw the jump ball for Schrader, and it's a pretty good idea. Schrader's 6'2", 185-pound senior, has some size and athleticism, leads the Titans in all receiving categories, and they told us they needed a win third down, and this is an important one on third and nine. Evers to the right of Kuhlman in the gun. Looking left. Fires over the middle. Incomplete. It's Brinkman the intended target. Titans have not attempted a field goal this season. He threw a bullet right there, but he had two guys in the area, so it gets a little confusing sometimes for the wide receivers. They had one running uh, about a 10 and in, and another one just kind of a slant route. But they ended up in close proximity to each other, and that ball was thrown so hard, it's tough to adjust anyway. So fourth and nine for the Titans inside the Dales Concrete Red Zone. Big play for both sides. All square at 21 on the structure scoreboard. Kuhlman with Brinkman to his left in the gun on fourth and nine. Looking. Fires over the middle of the field. It's caught momentarily before it's broken up. Evers had it. Steeman broke it up for Van Wert. And that's a big play for the Van Wert D. Really well-timed hit right there by Gage Steeman. Comes in, and when that ball is thrown, not at the chest, but anywhere around the body, and you have to extend out to grab it, if you get hit right away, you don't have time to pull that ball in and tuck it away. And right there, they're just not able to hold on. And so a big stop for the Van Wert, uh, or defense, excuse me, and we'll see the offense out there. Only their second possession of the half. Yeah, there are guys in the NFL that don't have the hands strong enough to make that catch that far out uh, uh, ahead of them. But a great effort there by Evers to even get a chance as Parker will go to work before he's hit and spun to the turf on his first carry of the drive. And they ran that read option over and over and over again, and now the Titans look like they're starting to adjust a little bit. Those defensive ends are coming up, and they're staying home, making sure to keep everything inside. Loss of one there by that OGD. As Parker fires up the seam as Campbell, just too strong and a little high, had the man beat, stuck his paw out there, and almost made a great grab on the run. Yeah, and that's that same play that we saw go for a deep pass in the first half. Ran right up the seam with the safety on the other side of the field, kind of tucked up closer to the line of scrimmage. That pass just a little too hot. So third and 11. Have the same thing set up if they want it. They'll fire, caught by Welch. Needs to get to the 28, spins out of a tackle. He's Very close. close to a least famous recipe chicken first down. Had to get to the 28. Still looking, they're gonna measure that one. And they are, they'll bring the chains out. It is nice on the turf that you know exactly where the hash is, where the football is spotted. And we'll bring the chains across and get a good look at it here. This is a big one too. 10.42 to go here in tonight's ball game, at least in regulation, all tied at 21. As they'll extend the chain, see where the football is. And whether or not it's a least famous recipe, first down it is. Great play by Keaton Welch, the freshman, to spin out of a tackle and pick up that first down. Yeah. <laughs> Instant replay tonight, brought to you by Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater 
and in Greenville. So first and 10 for the Cougars. Getting out away from their own end zone. As Parker's in the gun by his lonesome. Looking to throw, going deep. Just over through Campbell one more time. Going again with no safety over the top. I imagine we're going to see a few passes deep. Single coverage, they've got some quick athletic wide receivers as well. Uh, Keldon Bill, the intended target. Told you it was counter Campbell. Eight, three, grade numbers on gray jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> Second and 10 after the incompletion. The Cougars will go back to the ground as Parker keeps it himself. Stood up by the OGD. Has Austin Haley in on the stop. He lost his helmet, though. He's going to have to take oh, a seat did. for a play. And Briston Wise, the backup quarterback, quickly on the field. Nice heads up play by the junior to know he's needed. He looks a little shaken up as well, does Parker. So hopefully he's all right and is able to come back into this game. But he's headed over to the bench for a second. It is third and eight for Briston Wise, the junior, to step into the gun. High snap over his head. He'll chase it down, scoop it up. Able to turn the corner, lets it fly, and is nearly completed for a first down. What a great effort by Briston Wise. Thought that he almost he almost gave the like just fall on it, live to fight another day, and he said, "No, I'm gonna I'm gonna scoop this up." And I'll tell you what, what I like most about what we just saw, obviously that was a great effort play. You could see some athleticism, but as soon as Parker came off the field, or at least as soon as Wise knew Parker had to come off the field, he was ready to go, sprinted yep. into the game. I mean that that just shows a young man who's always ready, and that's exactly what you want to teach some of your backups to do. Punted away by Steeman, a high end over end kick, fair catch signal made at the 37 yard line. And that is where Ottawa Glandorf will take over. All knotted up here with 9.59 to go on WOSN. Under 10 minutes to go in tonight's ball game, in the fourth quarter at least. All square at 21 apiece. Donald Glandorf goes back to work at their own 36-yard line. Alex Schrader in motion. The handoff to Brinkman bounced off his own blocker and dropped for no gain. Titans ran seven minutes off the clock on their first possession of this half. And so they've got a really good chance here if they continue to run the ball as efficiently as they have in this game. A chance to run this clock really deep. Parker is back on the field, by the way, in his safety spot. Titans will need some Lee's Famous Recipe chicken first downs to run that clock. So they'll send two wide receivers and a wing to the left, a tight end to the right. Brinkman, the pitch behind him, and to turn around to get it. Couldn't turn the corner, and a loss of one as the Van Wert defense is there. Yes. I believe Aaron Reichert and Donovan Winklejohn can make the tackle. Wise was there as well at the bottom of the pile, but right there, Alex Schrader just looking the wrong direction. He was the lead blocker looking inside. There was a man coming from the outside. If he could have sealed that outside man, it would have created some space inside for the Titans to run, but instead it's a third down 10. Third and long. Titans looking to move the chains. They'll send Brinkman in motion to bring three receivers to the near side. Kuhlman rolls this way, fires. The pass intended for Nolan Horseman. Parker got there just at the right time to force the incompletion and bring up fourth and 10. That was as close as it gets right it there. Was his bang was bang. Great timing, and I'm definitely not saying it was a missed call, but it was certainly as it close was, as it yes. gets. If you would have seen a flag, it would have been really hard to argue that as well. So great timing there by Parker to force the Titans to a three. Now we talked about the fact that they could run seven minutes off the clock. Instead, it's one. You're right, got the football with 9.59 to go. Less than 90 seconds as Fenbert back to punt. It's a low end over end kick, takes a great Ottawa Glandorf bounce. Fan weren't content to just watch it roll. 
And it'll stop at the 21-yard line. So it didn't go very long in the air. Flag down at the Titan 47. Got a hold. I, I was going to say, the official when the PA announcer said we got a penalty flag in the play, he looked like, wait, what? Uh, but it is a hold. But after the three and out, Van Wert's going to have the football here in the fourth quarter with 8.26 to go. The question is, where will they have the football? Correct. Would be at the 21-yard line. It's a face mask, actually, against the Titans. That's a big one, too. That pushes the ball up 15 yards for Van Wert. Instead of starting at the 22, I'm not even going to try the math, but probably around the 37. 37? Hey. <laughs> Put collective brain power between us. <laughs> but that is, it's a big, big switch there of, you know, your chances of scoring a touchdown or kicking a field goal, starting at your own 22, drastically improve when you go to your own 37. And that's where Van Wert begins. Parker, who left the game on the last offensive drive, by himself in the backfield. Three to the right, two to the left. Campbell in motion to make it four to the right. He'll catch the swing pass. Has a blocker in front of him. Slips through one tackler before he's cut down just shy of the 45-yard line. That time a great job by the wide receivers on the right side of the field creating a seam for Campbell to run through after he caught that pass. Get your athletes the ball in motion. Good things can happen. Clock continues to tick on the structure scoreboard all tied up at 21. Parker the handoff to Keldon Bill. Powers through one tackler for he stalemated. Not going to pick up the least famous recipe chicken first down. It'll be just shy of that marker. Needs to get to the 47. Balls at the 46. Parker off left tackle. Ran into a tackler, broke it. Tries to get to the outside, splits a couple more Titans, brought down to 35, a big run by Brylin Parker, picks up the Lee's famous recipe, chicken first down. Great athleticism right there. We see a lot of that, or we have seen a lot of that tonight from Peyton Coleman on the other side, but right there, good patient run. Brylin Parker found a seam, made a guy miss, and picked up a big game. Campbell in motion to the right side. Catches the swing pass one more time. Stiff arms the defender. Tries to slip another tackle before he's brought down at the 32. Not that it matters, but if you're keeping stats at home, that did end up being a backward pass or so a rush that time for Connor Campbell. Either way, goes for two yards. And again, they're trying to get him the ball on the move. Trying to allow him to use that athleticism. All tied at 21. Van Wert looking to snap a two-game losing streak. Streak out of a Glandorf. Looking for their first win of the season as Parker stands with Bill to his left. Rolls to the near side. Looking, lets it fly. And it's incomplete. The intended target, Connor Campbell. So third and eight upcoming here as we approach the halfway point of the fourth. I'm not sure if that was miscommunication or if Campbell pulled off his route, but he was running that way. And the pass went about where you would expect it to go, but Campbell's got his hands on his knees right now. He's gotten the ball a couple times. I think he might have just been tired on that route. Big play for both sides. Third and eight. Looking for that least famous recipe. Chicken first down. Titans looking to get off the field. Parker keeps pressured. Slips out of one tackler. Stiff arms another. Trying to come to the near side. Hurdles a defender. Gets to the 30-yard line. Schrader brings him down. Penalty flag down. So the, the penalty is going to be a block in the back. I, I can almost guarantee you that's what the call is going to be. But there's another penalty right at the, the 31. Tackler. They got a face mask. So there's going to be offsetting penalties, I believe. Well, I was going to say, I was using my binoculars on the play because I can't tell the numbers on the Van Wert uniforms once it's got dark, to, to tell you the truth. But you could see a OG defender go flying and a Van Wert blocker immediately put his hands up. Like, I didn't do it. Well. That's generally a telltale sign that, yes, you did. But there are two fouls on the play. So they'll end up, I believe, offset, offsetting, excuse me, and they'll redo this down. 
So they do offset, and we'll do third and eight again. So Van Wert's got to get to the 25-yard line. All we accomplished was taking 11 seconds off the clock. That's a good point. Ball goes to the far hash once again. Well, it's a great effort by Parker to avoid a tackle for loss, a uh, tackle for one yard gain, and then <laughs> they even turn that into being close to the sticks. But they do have to get to that 25-yard line here on third and eight. Parker by himself, two to the right, three to the left. Looks left, pressured, gets away. Fires deep down the far sideline. Titans nearly had their first interception of the season. As it was dropped into the hands of Trevor Rump, drops to the turf instead, and it's fourth and eight. Yeah, good coverage right there, Rump just kind of flowing with the play reading the eyes of Parker, able to slide over and knock that pass down. Cougars looking for the least famous recipe, chicken first down. And they'll keep the offense on the field. Rylan Parker, the six foot senior, stands in the gun. Three to the left and two to the right one more time. Pressured, rolling, reverses. Let's it fly. It hits the turf incomplete. And the Titans have forced a turnover on downs. What I really like from the Titans right there is they got two guys in behind the line of scrimmage, Alex Schrader, one of them. And instead of trying to get to Parker, they just kind of broke down and tried to keep him in front of them. He's such an athletic quarterback, right? He can scramble and he can get outside. And so instead of over pursuing and perhaps missing a tackle, they just kept him in front of him, made him make a big play, and ultimately not able to throw, his, throw across his body and downfield. It's the replay tonight brought to you by Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and in Greenville. So OG goes back to work. First and 10 from their own 33. Looking to take the lead on the structure scoreboard at the halfway mark of the fourth quarter. Reverses field does Evers. And Grant Evers, the 5'11 junior, picks up a yard on the carry. Not much there, but the Titans happy to get that clock ticking. Clock continuing to tick. Might be one of those situations where OG is just as concerned about the clock as moving the chains. Want Van Wert to have as little time with the football as possible as Peyton Kuhlman keeps on the draw. Got out to the 37. So a gain of three more makes it third and manageable on back-to-back -back runs. Just tried the old quarterback draw right there. Good job by Van Wert staying home in the middle of the field. Six yards to gain, but certainly not four down territory right here. Exactly five minutes to go on the structure scoreboard. Third and six. Three receivers to Kuhlman's right. He'll look that way. Fires to Grant Schrader behind him and brings up fourth down. Titans will send the punt unit on. Tough one right there. He had his guy, Schrader, open, but looked like Schrader was about five yards further downfield than Coleman anticipated. So Fenbert, who has had some interesting punts tonight, got a great roll on the last one, looks to send it away. High snap. There it goes. Rolls down at the 27-yard line. So the Titans go three and out. Well, the most interesting thing that I'm watching for here is how much gas does Brylan Parker have left? He's played both sides of the ball for most of the night. We've seen him roll around, scramble around. He's run the ball quite a bit. We also know he's he's a gamer. He's going oh, he's going to find those reserves somewhere in there. He's going to leave it all on the field tonight. Tonight's scoreboard, sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts, 
Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Van Wert goes to work at their own 28-yard line, all knotted up at 21 apiece as Parker drops back to pass, has time, steps up, still hanging, fires deep to Campbell to the near sideline, dropped it in the bucket at the 41 before Schrader spins him out of bounds. Put a big chunk on first down for Van Wert. Credit the offensive line with that one as well as they gave him so much time. And a defensive back, I'll tell you, the longer they have to cover their receiver, the, the harder it gets, right? Oh, they spotted that ball, the ball back at the 44. 46. The 44, it should be at the 41. Thank you, yeah. Parker fires, left it short. And yeah, the football should absolutely be at the 41-yard line. At least. It's a strange spot. Oh, yeah. So 420 to go, second and 10 after the incompletion. Parker buys lonesome. Sends Bill in motion, keeps it himself. Has room to run before he's cut down at the 40-yard line. As Jaden Guerrera makes the stop. Now read option once again. Parker still limping around. Nose of the football's right at the 40-yard line. Third and six. Under four to go. Parker lets it fly, Ooh. and it's grabbed along the far sideline. Is that Campbell? It was indeed. That was a tough one right there. Under pressure, Parker got knocked down hard as he released that football, but threw it right on the money. And a big catch by Campbell over his head. Keeps a foot in bounds. Gets a big first down. Van Wert in really good shape here with 349 on the clock. On the outskirts of the Dales Concrete Red Zone, knocking at that door. With the ball to 24. Man in motion. Parker keeps. Brought down at the 21, gain of three. You're fine with that if you're Van Wert. Get a positive play on first down, get the clock ticking. At some point, the Titans might have to think about taking some timeouts of their own. They have three, both teams have all three timeouts. Under 3.30 to go. Parker. Limps to his spot to receive the snap. Fires, caught by Campbell. Needs to slip a tackler, does inside the Dale's Concrete Red Zone. It's enough to move the chains. He hits the turf at the 11 yard line. So that leads famous recipe, chicken first down, spots the ball at the 12 yard line. So really, Cougars have eight cracks at it here. Another simple play, just make sure yeah, the ball doesn't hit the turf. You stay in bounds. Clock keeps ticking down to three. Parker off the right tackle. Down near the six. Getting deeper inside the Dales concrete red zone with every snap. You're right about Ottawa Glendorf maybe needing to use a timeout here eventually. Van Wert, if they get inside the two, it's another first down. Bill to the left of Parker in the gun at 2.30. He'll run off left tackle. Brought down from behind. A great play made by Vinnie Brinkman. Brings up third and relatively short. Of third and two. Parker not necessarily running with purpose right there either. Understands a tackle really isn't the worst thing. Although now third down, you gotta start thinking about Punching it into the end zone, or at least getting that first. Ooh, Parker fumbled the snap. Gave him a little bit of time to get close to the goal line. Did he get there? He's down just shy of the goal line, but it is a Lee's Famous Recipe chicken first down. And honestly, that might have been the worst thing that could have happened for Ottawa Glandorf standing him up at the line, because like we said, inside the two, it's another set of downs. And with the clock on their side, Van Wert could consider just a, a knee or two to keep this clock ticking. 1.45 to go, clock moving on the structure scoreboard. On first and goal from the one and a half yard line. 
Looks like they're going to let the clock go all the way down and then take a timeout. They've got Parker, who is just gas. So tired. There's three seconds on the clock. Van Wert takes the timeout, and we'll take it as well. 122 to go, all square at 21. Cougars knocking at the door here on WOSN. First in goal for the Van Wert Cougars. First down tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. First and goal for Van Wert at the 1. 1.22 to go. All square at 21 on the structure scoreboard. Brylan Parker awaits the snap. Goes off right tackle and he'll waltz into the end zone for a Lodix Jewelry touchdown to take the lead. So a PAT pending, but a one score game. 1.18 on the clock, three timeouts left for the Titans. However, they have not been passing the ball particularly well in this game. So I'm really interested to see how this final drive from the Titans goes. The second Lonix Jewelry touchdown run by Brylan Parker tonight. The extra point upcoming by Griffin McCracken. The ball down to kick up through the uprights and good. And the Wright State Lake Campus extra point makes it 28-21. Van Wert with the lead. Extra points tonight brought to you by Wright State University Lake Campus. Whether you're interested in an associate's or bachelor's degree, Wright State University Lake Campus offers something for you. Visit lake.wright.edu to apply today. We'll step aside, come back. Ottawa Glenn are going to get the football with 78 seconds to try to mount a comeback here on WOSN. Touchdown tonight brought to you by Lonix Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at lonix.com. Van Wert getting a Lonix touchdown to grow the lead 28 21. Out of a Glendorf wants to tally a Lonix touchdown. As the Cougars are set to boot it away. We've seen some good returns from both sides tonight, seen some good kick coverage as well. Again, all three timeouts remaining for the Titans. Cougars send it away, a low line driver caught by Burgai. Runs straight ahead to the 30, to the 35. He's cut down by Welch. And that is where OG will start their drive with 1-11 remaining. Titans looking for their first win of the season. Van Wert looking to snap a two-game losing skid. OG starts at their own 35-yard line, looking to mount a comeback. Peyton Kuhlman, the junior, will break the huddle. Go Go Cougs! Awaiting Dylan Seifker to snap him to football. 111 to go. Kuhlman rolling to his left. Fires back over the middle of the field. It's caught for a first down. Grant Schrader in the middle of the field. The Cardinal senior not supposed to do. Works for OG to move the chains and pick up the least famous recipe chicken first down. And these Cougars need to get some penetration, need to put some pressure on Kuhlman. Ball nearly corralled, just a little low on the pitch from Kuhlman. That's just a quick pass designed to just Get a couple yards, but get out of bounds yeah. and stop the clock. So either way, incompletion, that's okay, as long as the clock stops. So after the 14-yard completion to Schrader, go, and the incompletion, the ball's at the 49-yard line with 54 seconds to go. Three wide receivers split out to the left as Vinnie Brinkman stands next to Kuhlman in the gun. Second and 10. Looking for Schrader. Pass is broken up by Connor Campbell. He was looking that way the whole time, but that was a good job by Campbell staying underneath the receiver, and then he had his quarterback, uh, safety on the defensive side, Brylan Parker, behind. So there really wasn't anything there for Kuhlman. 
Third and ten for the Cougar, for the Titans. Cougar faithful rise to their feet with a seven-point lead and 47 seconds remaining on the structure scoreboard. Coleman looks to get rid of it. Has time. Fires over the middle of the field, overthrows his intended target, and brings up fourth and ten. So Van Wert only bringing four, all four down linemen each play. That means we've got plenty of help in the defensive secondary. The Titans are going to have to make something happen here on fourth down. They'll take a timeout to talk about it. 40 seconds to go. They'll talk about it. We will as well in return with fourth and ten for OG here on WOSN. Tonight's Red Zone sponsor, Dale's Concrete. Call Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping and Lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. Fourth and ten for OG upcoming. Trailing by seven with 40 seconds to go. Got to get to the 41-yard line as Peyton Kuhlman stands in the gun. Got Grant Evers to his right, three receivers to his left. Kuhlman drops deep, fires, looking for Evers, dropped it in the bucket. At the 21 yard line, first to goal, first and 10 for the Titans on the Lee's famous recipe chicken. First down. Full extension, what a pass, what a catch, just a wheel route coming out of the backfield. Inside the Dales Concrete Red Zone, the ball's caught. No, it's not, it's dropped. Schrader, the intended target. Yeah, if he would have caught that, he would have stayed in bounds and they would have had to use another timeout. 25 seconds, what a play call. Looking for Evers, you're essentially third string running back out of the backfield. Put it in his hands. A heck of a throw by Peyton Kuhlman to get him down to the 20 yard line into the Dales concrete red zone. And the Titans with 25 seconds to work with, looking to knot it up. Play clock down to 12. Titans need to move, don't want to burn a timeout on this. Kuhlman with five on the play clock. With three. Gets it off. Hangs in the pocket, fires over the middle of the field. Nobody's home. Yeah, his receiver stopped right there. He made a nice double move. I was gonna say, I think the legs got tangled 18. up at the goal line there. Yeah, that was Evers in the back of the end zone. And the quarterback thought he was gonna run to the back. Instead, he stopped and pass sailed right over his head. 17 seconds remain. It'll be third and 10 for Ottawa Glandorf. Need to get to the 10 yard line. Kuhlman will have Brinkman to his left. Schrader by his lonesome to the bottom of your screen. They'll roll to the left, looking. Kuhlman lets it fly, broken up by Connor Campbell. No, by Gage Steeman, I beg your pardon. So fourth in the ball game upcoming. For Ottawa Glandorf. They've pulled the rabbit out of the hat a couple of different times tonight. Just need to get to the 10 yard line. Titans do have two timeouts in their back pocket, should they want to talk about it. There's a good read right there, good jump, and honestly thought that might have seen an interception on that the way he jumped on the ball, but either way, smart to just knock it away, make sure no harm done. Titans snap or break the huddle with 10 seconds. Kuhlman. And Brinkman in the gun. Now send a man in motion. Fourth and ten in the ball game. Kuhlman pressured. Turns the corner. Needs to get to the ten if he's going to run it. Didn't get there. And Van Wert's going to hang on for the for the win. There's Cannot fault Kuhlman for running right there. He had a lot of space in front of him. But how about the open field tackle to stop him just? One yard short. They're still taking a look. And there's one second on the clock. Okay, so it is officially a turnover on downs. What a fantastic job by Van Wert. Stopping Coleman just short. Needed a scamper to the 10. Didn't get there. Came up about a yard and a half short. 
And Van Wert's going to break their two-game losing streak with a nail-biter of a victory over the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. They'll snap it to Parker. They'll drop to the knee, and that does it. A valiant effort by Ottawa Glandorf to even have an opportunity there in the waning moments of the game. Couldn't come up with the play they needed, and the Van Wert defense didn't break when they needed it most. I think there's a lot that Ottawa Glandorf can take away from this game, though. They looked very, very good yeah. offensively. Defensively, maybe struggled at times, but ultimately a really, really good game from both teams. If you were to tell me coming in, we said this a little bit ago, that these teams were a combined three and nine, I would have told you you were crazy. This was a great game played by two teams that executed well on both sides of the ball, and we were treated to a great one tonight. Absolutely, we were. Van Wert scores in the final moments of the game with 118 to go on a one-yard Lodix Jewelry touchdown run by Brylan Parker, his second of the night, to make it 28-21. And that is your final score. Van Wert snaps that two-game losing streak to Wapak and St. Mary's. Back-to-back -back losses, gets a win over Ottawa Glandorf to move to four and three on the season and keep those hopes of hosting a playoff game in week 11 alive. Just a fantastic high school football game tonight, Evan. And what a great night for football as well. I mean, it's almost October, still September though, and it was, it was clear skies, it was a beautiful evening, great atmosphere here. Again, two teams that you know, not, not as hyped up as they normally are yeah. coming into a football game like this, but both communities showed up and showed out, and they were treated to a great matchup tonight. So Van Wert moves to four and three. Ottawa Glendorf still in search of that first victory of the season after this valiant effort tonight. The final score, the final time. Van Wert wins 28-21 over the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. For our spectacular WOSN crew and Evan Skilleter, I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long from Egger Stadium here in Van Wert. And we'll catch you next time on WOSN.